This is the Rinse Kit Plus. It holds two gallons of water, pressurized. So I'm gonna show you how simple and easy it is to set up right after this. Hey guys, so we are back and I'm gonna be doing a product review on the Rinse Kit Plus. About two weeks ago, I received the Rinse Kit Plus. I did an unboxing and first impressions and now I'm gonna do a product review, show you how easy it is to set up. This is the Rinse Kit Plus. It holds two gallons of water, pressurized. Alrighty guys, so we have the Rinse Kit Plus here. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to set up, fill it up with water from your hose. So first thing you wanna do is untach your hose and use the adapter or the bib that it comes with. You're gonna take that and you're gonna go ahead and install that. Now remember, it is plastic. If you tighten it too tight, it might crack. So just go ahead and just make sure that it's on there nice and firm. The other thing you wanna make sure is that there's two plugs that go into the tank. You wanna make sure those are nicely sealed. Again, they are plastic and there is an O-ring. So make sure that O-ring is there so that way it's gonna be able to hold that pressure inside the tank so you'll have a nice good flow once you go to use that rinse kit. Now once you have those in there, you wanna make sure that they are sitting in there nice and tight. Perfect. Now to fill up your rinse kit, all you have to do it's from the hose where the blue part is here and the spray nozzle is. Simply pull down and then pull up to release the hose, the spray. The next thing you wanna make sure is on the valve, make sure you have that turned to off. And when you go to connect the blue spigot to the bib or the adapter, you're gonna to wait to hear a click. Once you hear that click, you know that the spigot is on the adapter or the bib, and then that way you can go ahead and start filling on the water once you turn that valve to on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna turn on the, spigot, or the, or the hose now. I'm gonna turn the valve to on, and then you'll start hearing the rinse kit start to fill up. Now the reason why you wanna make sure those plugs are nice and tight and secure in the rinse kit is because that's what's gonna build up that pressure so you have that flow. Now, it fills up in about 30, 45 seconds. I like to usually wait till 45 seconds just to make sure that I have the mass capacity of water I have in here. If I'm using it for watering the plants, um, spraying down dogs at the beach if they get muddy or anything like that, uh, you know, rinsing off once I'm done at the beach or my nieces once, I, once we're done and we don't wanna get sand in the car, that's super something also super convenient as well. Now, as you can see, we've been talking here for more than 30, sec 30 to 45 seconds. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna turn that valve that I had to off. And then I'm gonna turn off the hose. That is very, very important because if you have that hose on, all that water that you just put in here is going to flow out. So you wanna make sure you have it off. Pull that blue ring down to release it from the bib or the adapter, and then go ahead and place the hose back on. Now you'll know that you have pressure because if you notice right here, you see that little, it came up just a tiny little bit. You know you have pressure once the nozzle here releases up. I have it in the on position and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna test out the shower setting now. Really nice, lot strong pressure. Now I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the tank by watering the plants. Alrighty guys, so now that we have the rinse kit filled up to the two gallons, I'm gonna show you guys how easy it is to use. Um, we're gonna just do a simple watering of the plants, but you can also use it to rinse off your dogs um, after the beach or after a dog park if they get muddy, e after you go surfing at the beach, I um, mean, you just wanna rinse that salt water off. So all you do is just pop this open. Turn on the valve to on. 
And then all you do is just go ahead and start spraying. It's gonna have a great spray. This right now is on the shower setting. So you'll see there's a really nice, great stream coming out. There's also a mist setting. A center setting, which has multiple streams and a very fine setting. Flat, which just comes out like this. And then jet, which also comes out in one steady, strong stream. So I'm going to continue watering the plants here, and then we'll go ahead and wrap it up. All right, so there it was, my simple, quick, easy product review of how to use the rinse kit. Again, one of the things that I discovered is if you slide the lid just to the right, you can pop it out of that hinge and use this as a nice little step to use while you're at the beach so you can rinse off your feet and not get it sandy. The Rinse Kit Plus is super easy to use. One of the other features that I really like in here is inside the Rinse Kit, there is a little black cover. There is a nice little place for the bib or the adapter to go into so you don't ever lose that. I've put the, there is a metal hot water adapter so you can attach it to the sink. I've put that on the inside on the bottom of the bin. Again, I keep this with me in my car so it's super nice, easy, convenient to travel with doesn't take up much room in my trunk, which I really, really like. Thanks so much for watching this video, guys. I really hope you appreciated it. If you're interested in purchasing the Rinse Kit or the Rinse Kit Plus, um, any one of their different products, I will go ahead and leave a link to their website down below so you can go ahead and purchase one as well. Thanks again for watching this video, and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.